everyone that helped make this event a great success. Without the help of all of you, this event would not be possible. Growing up with a twin sister that has autism was definitely different. And that is something I am internally grateful for. Just let this sink in. One in 68 children are diagnosed with autism. And a child is diagnosed every 20 minutes. This is a number that we have no control over. But what we do have control over is how we make a difference. I believe that we all have a voice, even the ones that are nonverbal. But if you truly believe in something, you can make a difference in the world, one step at a time. And that is what I'm striving to do alongside with my sister. She has taught me so many lessons over the years, from caring for others and advocating autism and just accepting. Just like the shirts that we are all wearing today, we are all unique. This is something I believe to be very true because why would we all want to be the same anyway? What's the fun in that? Every person we encounter in our lives offers us something different to learn. It's up to you to do something with it. Take that chance. You know someone different. Go out there. Make a difference. Like I said, it takes one person to stand up. And every day, my sister teaches me something new. Coral is nonverbal. She will echo after what I say, but that step took us years to get to. But to be able to understand her with just looking at her is a bond that can never be broken. Yes, being away at school is difficult, and I wish I could bring her along with me just to experience it every day. <laughs> after help taking care of her and going to school every day, I would bring her to school from fifth grade to senior year. Every morning, driving through McDonald's, getting that hash brown and that large Sprite. Every day, bringing her into the classroom, talking with her and the teacher, is just something that you don't experience every day in your life. You create those bonds with other students, other children, and other people that have been affected, and you get to learn, which is an amazing feeling. As you can tell already, my childhood was not your typical childhood growing up. At a young age, I was already advocating autism to others in our own town to make them aware and help my sister as much as I could. Then life threw a curveball. At the age of 12, our father, Michael Lettinga, passed away. This definitely made things even harder. But with the family support that I had, and knowing that he's protecting us every day, and even here today, to make this event even more special to me. He is one of my biggest role models in life. I don't know what I'd do without him. He might not be here physically, but knowing that he is proud of us pushes me to keep going. I hope that you can all go out and accept others for who they are and not what for people label them. Just because someone is different doesn't mean they're not able to do something. Give them the chance and see what they can do. You will be completely amazed. Thank you so much for attending the first ever Olivet College Autism Awareness Walk.